do no shit like that. Yo. Tony, bro. Three-letter man. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? I'm all right, man. You What's know, good, King? How good, you? Good, man. Life is good, man. I'm feeling great. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that's here. I know everybody pulling up. I don't want to go. I don't want to go too quick. I want to make sure everybody get their shit off. And uh, three, if you can, I'm gonna ask you, man, humbly. Uh, please get some fans up too. I want to hear what they what they reactions are. I want to hear what what they got oh. going on. If uh, if Stumbles is in here as well, you know what I mean. Salute to him. Uh, what we gonna do is this. We are gonna set the tone right now off the bat. Right. Number one, Stumbles won that. Stumbles won the battle. Stumbles is a new hardcore champion. Midnight Madness, great imprint. You know what I mean? Shout out to Surf Jack and Bill for bringing something back to the coach and cut through all the bullshit. Y'all see what's really going on this year. We done cut through a lot of bullshit as a culture. You know what I mean? Culture got to get credit for that. Like we was done with a lot of the bullshit cards and all the forced narratives and shit. We want to see the people that's putting in work go out there and really, really prove what they can do on the court. You know what I mean? That was the whole purpose of Midnight Madness. So. I shout out to my man Driz, but, uh, I'm super happy about that. I'm happy about what Snake Eyes is able to do. Uh, it's been a great year. We in June. Um, you know, I, I want to say, like, we got, let's see, let's stay. I got these things I can talk about, things I can't, but solidified. They're four locked in, uh, three legends on deck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, you know, I got off the stage and, and got, you know, interest in different other opponents and stuff like that. And a few guys already said that they, they want to battle Snake, so. You know what I mean? That we we leave in a good place. You feel what I'm saying? Disappointed for sure. Wanted to take home the win. Won't won't even lie about that. You know what I mean? But hey man, he was the better man that day. Definitely the uh best I've ever seen him. And uh yeah, got that. Oh, hold on. Where was you in nineteen ninety five? What when I needed a lawyer, my nigga? <laughs> Where were you at? I needed you back in ninety five. Ninety five, what was I? I was like, shit. Man, 95. Yo, bro, I'm 35. 95 was a good time in my life. I ain't gonna front. <laughs> I think at the time, what was it? Slam. Da, 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 da. That's the boys, you boy. I was in that era, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, but Tom, let me give you props though. Let me give you yeah. props though. What you're doing right now and the way you come up and since yeah. you guys been mm -hmm. off the stage, one word. One word. Yeah, man, that's the only Honorable. way to do it, man, because, you know, when, when Snake got the belt, it was like, damn, like, this is a big deal for him, you know what I'm saying? Finally, it's like, now he gets the eyes on him, and people get to really focus in on his career and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And now Stumbles gets the same type of thing, you know what I'm saying? If you guys care, as you should, about what he's doing, you know what I mean? Follow that man, see what he do now, you know what I mean? A lot of y'all... <laughs> man, when Snake won, it activated a lot of people, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, it activated a lot, like, you know... Um, I think like people was like, yo, come outside with it. You know what I mean? He really, he really promoted it and kind of brought it to somewhere where you had top tiers chasing him for it. You know what I'm saying? Like six, 60,000, 600,000 with Torque, non-title match, of course, and things like that. Um, somebody corrected me. That was 91, 92. Yo, yo, yo. yo. First of all, hey, yo, hey, yo, old, hey, yo, old dude, chill out, bro. Just chill out. Just because you, yo, bro. Yeah, yeah. Why you I know you're going, to me, I know you're going, you but nah, but nah, no funny shit. I, I just, uh, I think, um, you know, for, for me, it's like, yo, you win like a champion, you lose like a champion. You know what I mean? Snake Eyes talks his talk. But at the end of the day, and I think a lot of people get this messed up, we, he's not going to tuck his tail or no shit like that, man. We not, we're not no haters. Never been no haters. Never. I think that's the, that's, the, that's the thing I get most insulted by. It's like, ain't never hated on nobody. You know what I mean? Um, and definitely not going to do that now. Right. Shout out to URL. Shout out to Midnight Madness. Shout out to the homie. I yo, who was his name? FBF. Like, what was his name that put the money up? Yeah, bro. Put the two stacks up. Yeah, I yo, brother's shout name, though. out to you for putting the extra two up, bro. That was ill. Four thousand dollar matchup, man. You know what I mean? That that was dope, man. It definitely elevated the card. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I feel like you know, definitely we could get into more of the battle and things like that. But as you guys saw, fifteen minutes of fame, hip hop is real. That's what the energy is going to be. Middle of June, six more battles locked in. Uh, and we just going to see where we at by October. We'll see where we at. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, by October. Because, by October? because I think okay. I, I think with the guys, what did already, you? you know, 
locked in and, you know what I mean, kind of in the crosshairs right now, it's like, all right, by the end of the year, you know what I'm saying, we, we see where it is. I, I think a similar situation you saw with, like, Danny Myers, he always get, like, the mid-year surprise where it's like, damn, like, he might have dropped the battle to excel or he had, like, the situation where real sick happen. Still end up finishing the year pretty strong, and I think that's where Snake Eyes is going to be. So, hmm. so, so, what do you think? What do you think people are questioning why Snake put the bell up? I see people on Twitter talking about that this morning, like, oh, he should have put the <laughs> bell up. I said it's twenty twenty. That's, that's just Monday kind of morning quarterback to shit. Um, to be to be honest, I mean, you know, look, man, we. <laughs> We could, you know, everybody's a tough guy on spaces. Everybody got a lot of money. But in real life, you know, um, in real life, $4,000, you know, on top of the extra bag that you're getting, you know, for doing what you did, you're going to go for that. You know what I mean? So that was the right decision all day, every day. Mm. And, uh, you know, I think even with the Cortez shit, and I said this on Hip Hop is Real, but with the Cortez situation, you know, and I'm going to say it here right now, I didn't like how mm. that went. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like how the situation went. Snake Eyes had every uh, every hope of putting the belt up, and it just business-wise it didn't work out. You know, we wasn't mm -hmm. able to get the Midnight Madness guys out there. That being said, I, I personally, right. I take the blame on that situation. I should have called Cortez, me. I should have called him. I said it a bunch of times. I'm going here. I said it on my show. I should have called him. And for that, Tez, I sincerely, I do apologize for that. Real talk. And, I, and I'm, I'm saying that. No, 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 hold on, hold on, three, hold on, three, because I want to say that because I have a personal, like, like, sort of, um, you know, I got a lot of respect for Tez, man. Like, Tez is a uh, is a stand up guy, always was one hundred with me. We did uh, we did a bunch of in studios together, Black Cups Underground album reviews together. You know, what I mean, I got tremendous amounts of respect, and that's why even when with the Torque matchup, he wasn't gonna put up against Torque because of the respect for Cortez. So when that fell through, it just looked the way. Mm. And his, his grandmother passed. Rest in peace to her. So, Tez, if you watch this, bro, my sincere apologies, brother. I'm going to talk to you in person. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man, that, that's just what that is, man. He's a talented MC. I just – I hate that, that how how that went down. I know Snake did too. But uh, for I, I just don't want him to get the brunt of that. Because some – like, there's shit that I do that I have to take ownership for. You know what I'm saying? And I will always. So, yeah, that, that is what it is. Yeah. But talk as a manager, yeah. you're still learning yeah. also, right? You're still learning. Absolutely, absolutely still That's learning. Right. Um, you know, and I think like for me, you know, I don't get it messed up, right? And we're gonna we're gonna talk about the battle, what's going on next and things like that. Like, there's a contingency plan behind everything. You know what I'm saying? So the possibility of a loss or whatever taking place was definitely something that we went through. And there's a new plan behind it. So for everybody right. that is wondering what's gonna happen, you will see very, very, very soon. I think y'all gonna like What's going to happen next? Uh, shout out to JC. Him and uh, Snake Eyes on a walk down. That's going to be going down. One round on beat. Get back to some rapping and stuff like that. You got head, uh, e Ness coming up uh, in on MC War in July. Head Ice on HOC. That's House of Casualties in Albany. You know what I mean? Squeako in Virginia. And then, uh, you know, we in negotiations for a couple of different battles. Uh, you know, on the riot. You know, different leagues kind of around. And then uh, you might even see him in the UK this year. So, but, it's, you know, it's tough, man. The street niggas and passports, you know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah, we're going to make that happen. Right. So, mm -hmm. being that you're Snake Eyes manager, right, and we all respect what you do for battle rap as judging and everything like that, right, and what you do for black compass and shit, right? Was it easy for you to have a conversation with the higher ups about, listen, let me be the mediator here. That's my, my client. Let me talk to the powers that be. In terms of, I can be wrong. I don't know. Like, I'm just getting back on the platform. <laughs> I, I think. I, right, right, right. I think right, it right. was, you know, so honestly, platform, man, man. Um, those worlds are sort of isolated, to be honest. You know what I mean? Um, I think I'm in a unique position because I wear a bunch of different hats in battle rap now, kind of subtly. You know, I got the league with the walk down stuff. Uh, the media right. stuff and then the management, but they're they're all separate things. You know what I mean? Um, I don't get. I maybe I could I could sit down and get a convo with Beasley because I am who I am, but that don't necessarily mean like, yo, bro, put my man Snake yeah. in. I can't do that. I can't do that. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they gotta put the work in. Let's just think about it. Like, yo, he gotta put the work in. Let's not get that twisted. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be totally I'm honest with you, bro. And I'm gonna say this right now. But there's a lot of stuff that that that. I think mm. it's going to be unpacked and, you know, 
like, first of all, let me say this. Shout out to Pete, right? When, uh, before I even managed Snake Eyes, man, this is a guy that I've been in contact with. I watched him grow in his profession. You know what I mean? I watched him be able to put people in line and do different things like that. And I had a very frank conversation with him when I first started managing Snake Eyes on the state of how what he was and how URL viewed him. And he gave me a very candid answer. It was one I didn't necessarily like, but I had to go in there and get back in the lab and say, yo, Snake, this is let's compile all the fan critiques. Let's compile what URL and what the guys are saying, and you're going to have to work. And that's what he did. You know what I'm saying? And he worked, and he got himself to where he needs to be. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that conversation was. So I don't – and I don't even want to use that to that, like, yo, you only there because Tone Bro is one of them niggas in media – and yeah, you know what I mean? So not nah, it's, it's not a bad thing though. It's Hold like, on. I, but it's, it's a bad it's thing a way though. to earn shit though. You know what I'm saying? Like I am not a uh I get I always of get course. hit with the like you being political thing, but I think that's mostly because I got a good command of the English language, you know, whatever. But uh but I don't like politics, bro. Like you ain't gonna just plug us yeah. in because I, I'm who I'm at. I they're like nah bro, make make a nigga earn it, bro. Cause when you do shit like that and something falls through, then people throw it back in your face. Like, I, I did this for you. I didn't have to do it. It's like, nah, I worked for that. You know what I mean? So that was never what that was. You feel me? Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we can get into the actual, some of the X's and O's of the battle itself and stuff like that. Or, yeah. The, the, the judges, from the judges, how come that wasn't Edge and Stone? It's because of one of the concepts of Midnight Madness is uh, spontaneity. You know what I'm saying? Part of it is, all right, we on stage. Okay, yo, 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 who the judge? The deliberation part of it. You know what I'm saying? It's organic. And, like, I think for a lot of... Right. I'm on with three, Driz. Yeah, he made me lose my track. What, what was I saying, bro? Um, uh, oh, the judging. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we want it to be spo spontaneous. Yes, like, it adds to the allure of it. And I think for the fans that are watching, it's like, yo, who's going to be the judges then? Then that was extra. i got to give a big shout out to Drugs, even though my man Snake wants to have a conversation at some point with you. Uh, I'm going to get I'm gonna get a big shout out to, to Drugs because the way Drugs handle it, yo, y'all mind me judging or whatever the case might have been, real honorable, man. You know what I mean? So big shout out to Drugs mm -hmm. for that. But nah, man, you got to keep the spontaneity in there. You don't know what's going to happen. That sort of, uh, that like not knowing how shit going to go aspect of the culture, like that's one of the things that you want to keep. You feel what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So that's that's where I am with that. I ain't got no problem with the judges, though. I thought, uh, uh, I even heard like a lot of DNA's breakdown I thought was dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not mad at nobody, bro. Not at all. I can't be mad. Like, think about it. If you me. You gotta think about it like this, right? Let me let me let me bring you into my world, three. Right? Me All right, personally, let's go. I feel like, you know, about side of black companies media shit, which is stamped, solidified. Got the walk down, which is which is making waves, you know what I mean? Uh I I, I got I got, you know, <laughs> a lot of y'all favorite rappers in my inbox trying to manage for me to manage them, like today. You feel what I'm saying? I had a conversation yeah, with I you know, about this off here, but get ahead, uh, and, and, and to be honest with you, my client <laughs> is back where he wants to be, making more money than he's ever made. He's constantly booked. He's about to go on vacation for the next two weeks. Bad John with him. You know what I'm saying? Plenty of money in his pocket, and we working. You know what I'm saying? Merch is coming out. People are already doing the pre-orders. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? A loss is a loss. It's ways to get up out of that. It's how it is. But, uh, nah, it's nothing to hang. Like, if, if it would have not been all that and it wouldn't have been the reception that we got afterwards, then maybe. But, nah, we good. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Just going to keep working. Mm. That's all. So. The, the, a lot of conversation, obviously, in the room is the third round with the boombox and how that got in the premises and who allowed that. And, and you know, it's $4,000 on the floor. We're talking about Snake Eyes' first time back on URL. Like, you know what I'm saying? The ramifications of all that being played out, Tone. Like, that should not have been out there. Two-part question. What do you say to that? And also, what people are saying, well, did that play a big part on... Let's answer Snake the first Snake question Eyes, first. Um, uh, 
I, did it did it ultimately sway everything? I don't know. I have to I have to go, I have to watch it again. I haven't rewatched it. So I'm not saying that because I'm like thinking that it did or didn't. I just I really have to watch it, right? Um in right. that moment you gotta understand, like in my head, in my head is one one, right? And I do think there were some judges who gave Snake Eyes the second round. And okay, so one one battle, you get to the third. He had a dope third. He had a dope third regardless of the music. So Okay, cool. But then it becomes time for Snake Eyes to rap. You get the 3-0 chance before he starts rapping. To be honest with you, client, manager, we like, ah, we kind of know what this is. I think uh, if there probably anything, maybe he could go back and do, you know what I mean, as far as what we talked about, he had more shit in the third. Probably had another 12, 16 in the third, you know what I mean? Could have finished that off. But I think at that point, it just, you human, you know what I mean? You frustrated. It's like, ah, all right, you got it. You know what I'm saying? And, um... To be honest with you, too, I heard I heard about the whole them bringing the speaker in. But to me and to many people that were there, it came over the PA system. Like when we were listening to the music in between the battles. It sounded like it was coming from that same sound system. So it's like, damn, niggas coordinated this like y'all in on this. Like, I kind of feel like in that moment, if you don't know what's going on, it feel like, damn, y'all kind of stacked the deck a little bit, which you didn't necessarily need to do, because, again, there are a lot of people who probably feel like he already got the battle cool at that point it kind of feels like this is orchestrated you know to be real uh but but that's not that's neither here nor there we're not going we're not going to dwell on that make that a big deal that's not going to be that three don't make that the headline of this okay. shit because that's not it if, if anything okay. no no you no, know, if anything, you make you know headline, tone bro gives stumbles his respect he's a new hardcore champ respect him as such and give him his motherfucking place you know what i'm saying so that's what that's going to be. But, yeah, as far as the music, I, I see the way I see it in my vantage point, I, that's a little bit wacky uh, for a $4,000 battle. Uh, you know, we'll probably never know all the inner workings of, of what maybe happened there. But I'm not mad at nobody. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to keep doing what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, it's a little bit of narrative spinning that goes on. And we separate that out from – how this shit really is, man. You can't be mad. Like you can't be mad. You gotta keep. You gotta keep. Keep working. But uh, but yeah, I thought it was one one going into the third. He did that. That brought him over the edge. Three zero chance before Snake Eyes even says a word in the third. Don't help. So, it is what it is, man. Mm. It is. So. Mm. Let me question about it, the one one. Do you, all right. What do you say to people that say they? Some people feel that Stumbles won all three rounds. What do you say to that? That's fine. Get your opinion on that. I'm, I mean, I don't, I don't harbor any ill will toward that. Um, again, I, I personally think right. that Snake Eyes got the second for sure, um, and I, I, I feel like you know third mm -hmm. round again because of what happened. He didn't even, he didn't really finish the rest of the round. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? It's that it's a loss. It's a loss. Three. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna sugarcoat it. Right, 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 right. And it's like, um, you know, but but mm. and we'll get into some other shit because I do see some energy I want to speak about. But um, but it's a loss, bro. Straight up, it's a loss. You move on. You keep right. working. Like if it was a loss and he wasn't already booked for like six matchups, I'll be straight. Like I'd be like, it'd be probably be a different energy. But he's right back on the court in August. Right. You know what I mean? Got a couple of dates in June and a bunch of things lined up for September. So, go keep it. So, yeah. let's, let's not get it twisted. This yeah. man, oh, yeah. this year of his career, oh, yeah. this year. Oh, it's not like, over, man. And not I think uh, the way that he kind of plans on finishing the rest of the year, the story is going to be interesting because, yeah, you know, people are going to document this as sort of a, you know, inflection point of his year, but – Based on the work that has that we have going coming up, man, you may end up getting another six hundred thousand view battle. You may end up getting another battle that is on a card at a certain place and then becomes elevated. You know, I think what what people get mixed up outside of X's and O's of battle rap because battlers get better. Battlers go back in the lab and they improve and they craft. This is what MCs do. But when you're talking about from a business standpoint, 